and welcome to Paddling Places, Florida. Hey, I'm Mr. D, and today, as you can tell here, let me spin this thing out of the sun, uh, I am out at Fred Howard Park uh, on the Gulf Coast, and it's up in the Tarpon Springs area. Man, this place is great. I went to another place, and I was not impressed. I was just absolutely not impressed. It's called Craig Park. Uh, it didn't show me anything. It was so commercially spattered with so much residential and industrial and boat repair stuff. And people have told me, oh, that's a cool place to go. Um, you know, we're not going to recommend it. Uh, if you want to go out for a wide open channel paddle and that kind of uh, commercialism uh, suits your needs, hey, yeah, go. It's, a, it's cool. I mean, it's not a bad place to go. Uh, the water here right now is is really not very deep uh let me do a little test here let me stop the boat now i'm out as you can see the causeway runs this full length and let me turn this thing around a little bit for you now back over there where you see this little island that's the end of the causeway and the launch point so it's where you see the, those colored boats. That's where I'm parked. It's a, a $5 parking fee uh, all day. It's, uh, you go up to this little kiosk thing and, and uh, use your credit card and, or cash, and uh, it pumps out a receipt. You put it in your dashboard, you're all set. Now, I'm already out about a half a mile or so, maybe three quarters of a mile. The, uh, the water is crystal clear, and... Let's see, it's about three and a half feet deep where I'm at right now. So <laughs> you could walk out here quite a ways. There's supposed to be a cove area over here that uh, has some good paddling areas in here in Fred Howard. I got to see if I can find it. And then uh, if I paddle that, I'll get some shots in there. And then I'm going to go out. Those little islands are off, off to the side. I'm going to go paddle around them, and that will probably be the day. It'll probably be about four, maybe five miles. We'll see uh, what the paddle amount's going to be. So, hey, we'll be back in just a little bit. All right, here we're going, uh, we're at the far end of the causeway at Fred Howard Park. And as you can see, there's a whole lot of nothing out there. So we won't be going out uh, that much further. Uh, we are seeing, this, this water is so crystal clear. It's just unbelievable how clear it is. And we're gonna go around the top of the T you'll see here in this illustration what my paddle route was today and uh, some of my paddle could not be completed because of the tide conditions the tide in is beginning to come in but this is uh, this is really an outstanding paddle if you want something that's just Stone, relaxing. Uh, Red Howard Park at the end of the uh, causeway is the place to launch your craft. You get out and get some paddling done. Wind conditions could really hamper your uh, your paddling. Now, if you look over here, there's all the covered beach area where you can. Uh, Take your family and here it's all covered beach areas. They have lifeguards on duty, all that kind of thing. And uh, so you could spend the day at the beach, swim in here, and not have to worry about gators. And 
if you're into boating um, there's a couple of power launches not here but in the general vicinity where you can get out here but you can see this is a, a very beautiful place and a great place for a leisure leisure outing guys that about wraps up this uh, two-day event up here in the Tarpon Springs area we've uh, definitely did some paddling we did Brooker Creek we did Craig's Park we did uh, Fred Howard Park so if you guys are in the Tarpon Springs area I would highly recommend Brooker Creek and Fred Howard Park we'll see you on the next one <laughs> Thank you.